Okay, let's make our top. We're gonna grab our draping tape and use it to design it. But before we get started with that, make sure you take your tape measure and measure the dress form to make sure you have the proper measurements. draping tape you're going to grab a muslin and you're going to pin it snugly after we're done pinning grab a sharpie I chose to use a colorful one so that you guys can see and trace the draping tape underneath you can see the lines the yellow lines underneath just make dashes and then connect them later with a ruler do the exact same method for the back of the top Grab your scissors and make slits if you have to. The slits help release some of the tension so that you are able to pull the muslin tight. Now grab your ruler to connect all the dots on your pattern pieces and to also straighten out the lines so that you have proper measurements. After you have traced all the dashes and connected your lines, grab a tape measure or a, a seam gauge, whatever you have, and add a half inch seam allowance around each pattern piece. Put it back on, the pattern piece is back on the dress form and mark your notches so that you'll know where each pattern piece belongs. Lay your pattern pieces out on the fabric and cut them out. Pin it together and then take it over to the sewing machine. Okay, it's all sewn together the front to the back and now it's time to make straps. I'm going to make them by cutting two strips about two inches wide and folding them together and sewing them. Then I am going to turn it inside out. Use a safety pin to turn it inside out and then attach my straps. For the armholes and the neckline, I'm just gonna take the fabric, roll it once, then roll it twice, pin it together, and then sew it down to give it a nice, neat finish. Pin straps to the right side of the top and sew in place. Use a skirt that fits you well as your pattern piece. I'm using one that is of stretch material, same type of stretch as the fabric I'm using for my skirt. I'm gonna mark it out wide so that the skirt has a flare at the bottom. All right, next, just pin it up and sew the sides. Okay, what I've done, I'm gonna make a slit in the skirt. So I have to take it all the way from the top all the way down. So I've marked, I put the skirt on, marked where I want the slit to go down to, and I marked down with my ruler and the chalk. All right, next I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it all the way up following the chalk mark. I'm going to turn it inside out and I am going to pin it all the way down until I want 
until I were where I want the slit, how high, depending on how high I want the slit to go. So I'm just gonna pin it and then sew it down on the sides. Okay, up next I just pinned up my slit and the whole bottom of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and hem it off. And with the shirt, I did, I hemmed the bottom and I literally, I was gonna make it really strappy, but I decided not to, so I just added one little strap in between, you know, give it a little boom pile. Then we are almost done. Once I hem it, I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like. Yes. Oh, and at the top. And then we're gonna add a waistband. Okay, to make my waistband, I'm cutting on the fold. So I take my waist measurement, divide it by two, and then add one inch. And I'm making my waistband four inches wide because I'm gonna fold it over. I cut two pieces for my waistband. Then I'm gonna double them up at the seam and then sew them down together. Then add them to the top of my skirt. And for your waistband, match your seams up together. Grab a piece of chalk. When you're, where your seams are matched up, you're gonna pull down and mark in between the open pieces. That is basically our notch. So mark that and then mark the other side. And that lets us know how we're going to distribute the skirt evenly. Now take the waistband with right sides together and turn it upside down so that the top of the waistband is facing the bottom of the skirt. Pin it where you have marked and then sew it together. Then after that, I'm gonna finish it off with the overlock machine and then I am ready to sew and tail.